Hi, in this use case video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can use Priority Matrix to manage workloads. Sometimes, whether you're managing an entire company or just a small team, workloads can get unbalanced. Without the right visibility, some team members can have too much, while other team members can have not enough. The goal is to help you gain visibility so that you can very easily continue to monitor the workloads of each of your team members so that they remain balanced. Priority Matrix can give you this visibility. And now, as you may know already, you can create multiple projects in Priority Matrix with different quadrants. Now, I just wanted to pull up two different projects to keep it simple for the sake of this demo. But as you can imagine, as you are working with an actual team, whether it's a small team or an entire organization, there will be many more projects and many more people than simply two people that you may be comparing the workloads of. However, one thing can, is quite clear right now. When we look at this project, yes, we can see the different owners, but it's not very easy to really understand what the exact workloads are. In addition, we would have to jump back and forth and say, okay, John has three here, and uh, how many does he have here? As a solution, you can use the filter plus the other universal views. So what I mean by the filter is that you can go to the top right, and you can filter your view down to tasks assigned to only one person. So as an example, I'm going to look at all the tasks assigned to Henry, and we see that there's quite a bit here, quite a bit here. We still have to jump back and forth, but using this filter that we have pulled up, combined with the master view, we can get a comprehensive list of everything that's assigned to Henry. Now in contrast, what we can do is we can simply change this ownership filter to John, and we can see that John has a quite different workload. Really interesting thing to notice is that John has a smaller workload, but he has more due right now, whereas Henry has a much larger workload, but he actually has quite a bit of time. So as a manager, this type of visibility can help you shuffle things around to make sure that the workloads for each person are not only in terms of quantity equal, but sustainable in the given moment. Now, another thing to be aware of is that you can filter your view based on a particular time frame. So we would simply go to this filter and let's say show items with due date and then let's filter it down. Maybe we just want to look at the workloads for the next week. So here we can see that John has three tasks. And in contrast, Henry actually has zero tasks. So there are additional filters aside from ownership that can help you really drill down into that visibility. Another thing to be aware of is that you can also simply look at the details of an item by selecting, and then you can see the details on the right. So if we are curious about all these tasks that Henry has, we can select and look and see the effort, the progress, and any other context. Another thing to be aware is that, that this is simply one view. So this is the list view, but we've got the calendar view, we've got the Gantt timeline view, and we also have the reports view. So the reports also gives you heat maps into the actual effort hours. So you can compare, perhaps it looks like Henry has way more than John, but maybe all these tasks are actually um, smaller effort, whereas John has four uh, tasks that take days at a time, whereas Henry actually has many tasks that only take uh, two hours each. So that's something else that you can also explore in the reports and the Gantt chart and the calendar. However, these are the basics in terms of drilling down and really balancing that workflow. As you can imagine, if I were to remove this tag, I've got even more projects, um, but still this simple concept can once again, no matter how many tags you have, no, many, no matter how many uh, team members you have, it can really help you filter it down to really understand does each team member have a sustainable and equal and fair workload? Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful.